Hi folks, um, I said I'd do a follow up on the misting chamber for my um, getting my roots started, so um, here we go. So um, when I was, before my greenhouse arrived, because it's only been here for three weeks and one day now, um, I, when I was looking for bits that I was going to need, I came across these ultrasonic foggers on eBay. Um, I'd seen someone use one in some YouTube video for making a little airponic chamber for um, starting things going. And um, since they were £2.59 each delivered from Hong Kong, I dropped a fiver, I bought a couple of them, um, thought I'd see what I could do with them. Um, I'd been starting my seedlings off in these little rock wall cubes like this, and um, after a couple of weeks in these kind of cubes, the roots were down to the bottom of the cubes and they were bound, and I, I needed to move them into the net pots. Um, but, you know, e even if you mount it quite low, it's still a fair way from the bottom of the cube to the bottom of the pot, and then when that pot goes in the NFT rail, it was another inch and a half before it hit the water. So there was a couple of weeks after I transplanted my seedlings into the net pots where they just couldn't get the water and I was having to water things by hand. So um, I came up with the idea of, um, no, stole someone else's idea ultimately, of building a little misting chamber. So um, th these ultrasonic foggers, they've just got a little piezo transducer, that metal disc in the middle, um, which vibrates, shakes very, very fast. This little pillar on the side there is um, a water level sensor, so they won't actually turn on unless they're covered with water, because otherwise they'd overheat. They don't put out a lot of heat, they don't use a lot of power, but um, they would overheat if they were just running in the air. The ones I got use a 24 volt AC supply, they didn't come with the power supply, but fortunately I had one that I prepared earlier, um, so quite conveniently. They were just right for me, um, so I'll, I'll show you just what these foggers do. Um, get that in some water. Yeah, you can see it working nice, I'll just put a bit more water in there actually, that's not quite enough. There we go, that's a good water level and you can see that thing throws out plenty of fog really nicely. Um, if this were nutrient solution, this is obviously just tap water out of my hose, but if this fog was nutrient solution, the roots dangle down into the fog. Um, the clay pots, when they're in a sealed chamber, these pots, all of these clay pebbles get filled with water, it's, um, it's just like a really damp day inside. So um, I have that sitting inside a container. Now this only works properly if it's the right height below the water. So the one that I actually was using, I've put on this polystyrene float and just wrap strapped it to a piece of metal that I'd bent around, a piece of aluminium I had in the shed, um, and that will then float at the right height below the water and fill everything up with fog. And um, I'll just show you a quick clip of um, what I saw when I got back from my holiday. Hope you enjoyed it guys, folks. Um, take it easy. My Cheers. seedling starting chamber, this has got a little ultrasonic mister stuck inside it, but the roots on everything, there was no roots when I went away, they're ready to go in the rails now. It's just crazy, I can't believe it. I mean, j just in case you're interested to have a look inside here, what we've got is just a little ultrasonic mister bubbling away there. And that just creates a fine mist and um, that keeps all of the hydrocorn, all of the clay pebbles nice and moist and that gets the plants to drop the roots down and there's no nutrients in any of that, that's just tap water and um, there was nutrients in the little rock wall cubes when they first went in there but the roots are just going down in search of more nutrients and so they're all ready to go in the rail now.